Shalom, giving all praise and, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash, and double honor to the other apostles, other bishops, and brothers on the Magic No Stone. Salutations to the whole field. Like this is your brother, Rai Banyamia, and here to share another lesson. And uh, this lesson would be on uh, perseverance. Don't really know the title yet, um, through the Spirit. <coughs> I'll put it in. Um, you know, at the end of the, the lesson. But, um, you know, Lord willing, it be edifying uh, because, you know, the elect, you know, is going to need as much encouragement, um, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh as much as possible in these last days. Right? Because, uh, you know, a lot of us, you know, are going through, you know, the, the rigors of being in, in the society, you know, with the we desire not to be here. I desire, you know, not to be here, but we are here to fulfill our punishment, to be tried and to be tested, so that we may be <clears throat> called uh, the Lord's elect or the Lord's uh, preserved. And the sun is not gonna be easy, you know. Every day, you know, I pray for. The Lord has shortened the days. Yeah. Because all the things we do outside of the truth of the word, really, you know, is meaningless. But, you know, we have to do it for now. You know what I mean? Like uh, working these jobs. Right? The Lord say, you know, um, those that, that work is part freezing. But those that work shall eat, right? So... We work these jobs for our daily bread and, and nothing more. But really, uh, speaking, you know, for myself as a man, you know, outside of that, I desire not to work, you know what I mean? But, you know, uh, you know, just continuing on until the Lord, you know, push forward. So this lesson is for me, first and foremost, and also for the elect. You know, some brothers, you know what I mean, and some sisters, they work jobs where they aren't as mentally and physically uh, drained at the end of the day. But some brothers and sisters are going through it more than, you know, than others. But in the end, we all, especially when this thing really kicks off, we all going to be light upon the persecution. Um, is going to come, right, the slander. Right, the accusations, right? Some of us will be put into, you know, prisons, you know. All these things is, is, is happening, man. We would, Lord say that, uh, Scripture say that we've been in, in the midst, you know what I mean, uh, of these people. So while these uh, Babylonians are going through their judgment, uh, we are going to be around. But, you know, Lord willing, we be of the elect and we be, uh, delivered from being amongst um, these people. So, Lord willing, this lesson be Eddie, fine and encouraging you to continue, man, um, regardless of the, the stresses, uh, testings and trials that you are going through. And may he preserve you all the way up until, you know, his uh, coming through different, um, you know, perils. So, I looked up this word and, um, you know, perseverance. And as you can see, it has the will, the will or ability to persevere, right? But at the very bottom end, it says from late 14th century as a quality or state of continuing or enduring. All right? So a, squal a quality or state of continuing, that quality or that state, really is not of ourselves because um, we would be placed in situations where our flesh can't do anything, you know what I mean? Can't go up, can't go down, can't go back, can't go forward, you understand? Can't go around, can't squeeze yourself through a situation, can't talk yourself out of a situation. But you would have to rely solely on, um, you know, the mercy of your Bashim Yahushan. Right, only him can give that state or that quality of uh, continuing or enduring. So I have a few scriptures uh, of encouragement. 
and um i'll close it up so the first one i read in uh uh romans your fifth chapter and we'll read uh verse three and verse four it says and not so only but we glorify but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation with the patience and patience uh, experience and experience hope right so the elect will not look at the testings and trials as uh you know wickedness from the lord um what i see now is a lot of people right they're seeing actually one of the videos i just watched um was from a guy in the world you know what i mean um, he moved to another country to seek a better life you know cheaper economy better women of um, you know so-called morals than the women here in the west so on and so forth and he said that since the year started with everything that he has saw he don't believe that there is a god because there's so much debt right because he don't understand the scriptures and what he also said that no one could convince him otherwise to believe you know what i'm saying in a power so the people of this world they are seeing these tribulations these debts and they ain't see no debt yet you know what i mean they ain't see that yet man um so the things that they are seeing they are saying that hey there's another god they believe in the christian narrative that god is all um love and things must be um peachy you know the scripture said that the righteous shall scarcely you know be saved so we're gonna go through it you know what i'm saying it's gonna hard times where you know what i mean you may think that hey man is he Lord with me? Is he Lord going to help me? Is he going to deliver me? You know what I mean? I can't get out of this situation or, or that situation. I can't move. I'm in a immovable situation. I can't do anything to help myself. You understand? Know, is the Lord going to save me? Is he with me? And a lot of people is going to um, is gonna doubt. And they're going to fall out because they, of the manifold um, you know, problems and situations that's, that's going to be in. And it's going to be rapid. It's not going to be where well, you have one problem for this month and then six months down the line, another little problem come. No, it'll be um, a, a continuous for however long the most I decide that that problem remain uh, continuous. You know what I mean? So a lot of people is going to spaz out. You know what I mean? So this is why, you know, we encourage, you know, through the spirit, these lessons are for us first because it come from the spirit, the inspiration. Come from the Holy Spirit of your Bashim and Shah's first for us first and you know, through us, you know, we disperse the through the spirit so that the rest may be um the body may be edified. Because we all edify one another, man. You understand? So that hope right comes from knowing that you know the tribulation you give your patience and endurance to wait upon the Lord. Scriptures also say, wait he upon the Lord right so in the end we will have that that hope and right now we are getting the experience um brothers who bring the truth starting from the uh elder apostles or the bishops on down you know they have experience you understand they ain't gonna tell you all their they're not gonna tell you all their business you know what i'm saying but they give you know stories of men they went through things and they, they were so helpless but the most high he delivered um them you know so you have to believe the same thing to that regardless of what the Messiah is going to deliver you. Not on your time, but uh, on his own time. Uh, I'll read Matthew chapter 10. <clears throat> and, uh, verse 22, it says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endure it to the end shall be saved. You understand? So that's another thing. So beside the, the tribulation and the problem that uh, we will see, you know, the being around earthquakes, being seeing family dying, close relatives, right? Brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers. Some of us may even lose wives. So you women, uh, some of you may lose husbands and stuff, right? And, you know, the things that they're going to lose, the things they're going to... Um, suffer and endure right then you have the the persecution 
the blame that is coming. You know, we do nothing as far as Great Mills don't go. We do nothing um, so that the ministry be not blamed. You know, what I'm saying we don't carry on straps and stuff with us. You know, what I mean we don't uh, put up gang signals and signs and all of that. You know, we go on the highways and the byways. You know, we teach the teach the word, brothers bring up the precepts. You know, we close it out. You know, we salute each other, we greet each other. And um, everybody disperse, each brother go his own, you know, different direction. No troublemakers um, amongst us. I have brothers who live streams, they do, you know, these encouraging epistles, um, so on and so forth. And they try to be an example when they are off the, the camera, you know what I mean, as, um, uh, you know, in public, you know, trying to be a light of yeah, passion, or share what I get out in the world. So these things are gonna happen because they're gonna lie, they're gonna slander, they're gonna blame us, and the world is gonna believe them. Can you believe that? Um, the world is gonna believe them. You understand? But this is, you know, part of the walk. This is um part of the trial. It really is not us that you will hate, but is um you will hate Yahweh Shai, and it also hates him that sent Yahweh Shai, which is. Uh, Yahweh. My but that to endure on most high. This is most high word. It's promise. It's written in red. So Yahweh Shai said it. So he said, but he that endure it to the end shall be saved. And most high is not a god that he should lie. All right. So we could um. You know we could bank on that. All right. Uh. uh um. Let me try the. Uh, James 1 and uh, verse 12. See, blessed is the man that endure temptation. All right, I'm going to the word temptation. Do, 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 do. Um, my temptation, it says, an experiment, an attempt, a trial, proven. So temptation is there to prove you, all right? A proven, when you go in section B, it says, a trial of a man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, and constancy. Enticement to sin is like a trial, all right? <clears throat> I like that one. A trial of a man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, and constancy. And also a proven, right? So, we are going to be tried, we're going to be tempted, man. For he that is, for when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life. Right? That is um, one of the instances when, you know, we endure at the end, most I give the elect. You know, men, um, the 144 are crown, you know, of life, you know what I'm saying? That they endure, that they continue and stuff in the in the work which the Lord had promised to him that love him, right? So the 144 and the elect are those that love Yahweh Bashmi and they're gonna continue to endure until the end, and Lord willing, we be amongst uh, those individuals. You got to believe, Neil. Remember what uh, that dude Morpheus told you? You know, in order to jump from one building to another, you know, you got to believe, right? So, you got to believe that the Most High is going to save you, even in those times. Just like in that show, look, it looked impossible at the naked eye that a man couldn't jump from one, <laughs> from one building to another, right? So, in these uh, perilous times, man, um, it's going to look like no... It, Nobody can save you. You can't save yourself. Uh, an, uh, another man, you know, that, that probably woke out and all of that seven days a week, uh, eight, eight, nine hours a day, wouldn't be able to save you. So a lot of people say, well, well God can't save him out, uh, out of this. I ain't never see him save anybody out of this. But we had to believe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, last one I'm reading. Um, uh second corinthians 
chapter 6 I'm going to read from verse 4 and down a little bit. Um, it says, But in all things are proven ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, in much patience, uh, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses. How we approve ourselves in the ministers, as ministers of the Lord, you know, we do, you know, what you say to do. Right? You say to feed a sheep, right? To blow the trumpet. Right, so one of the ways they do that, you go on the highways and the byways and you proclaim the ministry of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You do these epistles and only that, but you know, living a clean life to the best of your ability without with you know offending less. And just, you know, what being an example as you walk in public and not being a um what you call it, a hypocrite or a hypocrite, right? And then we're gonna have to be like that, we're gonna have to be as such in patience in affliction right these tests and trials man in necessities and distresses day to day stresses in stripes you know we just call it licks back home in the islands right in stripes uh in imprisonment these things are coming imprisonment in tumults in labors in watchings in fastings right by pureness by knowledge by long suffering uh, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, um, by love unfeigned. Let's see what that word means, unfeigned. Love unfeigned. Now, before I go into it, I mean, I added anything, but let's see. It would probably mean love undefeated or unchanged, right? Let's see. Unfeigned, undisguised, you know, sincere, right? When somebody or something is sincere, it remains in that constant state. You know, it don't change. Uh, without dissimulation. Uh, let's go into the, um, the etymology and see. Unfeigned. Unfeigned, late 14th century, sincere, genuine, true. You know, real. You know, Jacob would say, man, yeah, he a real one or she a real one. You know what I mean? She real, she true. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, genuine. All these are just subs to the word. Um, yeah, genuine, true. <laughs> Genuine, sincere, genuine, true, real. Alright. says, by the word of truth, by the power of the Most High, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. So he got us, man. He got us all the way wrong. So see it, by honor and dishonor, uh, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and... Yeah, true, you know what I mean? So, regardless of what people say, you know what I mean? The most I, you know, he got us, man. As unknown and were yet well known. As dying and behold, we live. As chasten and kill not, you understand? So, some of us, you know, we're going to have weapons put, you know, to us. All right, some of us, you know, we're going to be beaten. You know, but the most high got us to you, and you gotta believe this man. You have to believe what you're, you're reading. You understand? Last one it says, A sorrowful yet always, always rejoicing. As poor yet making many rich. As having nothing and yet possessing all things. You understand? So we are the poor of the world, man. But we are mighty and rich. 
in spirit through our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? Look like we have nothing, we have nothing going for us. There's no future, really, there's no future for us in Esau Kingdom, right? But we possess everything, we possess the promise and the inheritance of our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That the kingdom to come will be ours under his rulership and also under King David. So endure, keep endure until the end and pray for a spirit of perseverance. Alright. So see you all next time. Lord willing, this is your brother I Banyamian. Shalom.